morning children welcome back for your live recording class we are doing chapter 1 a computer system in my last class i have explained to you computer system and how does a computer works today we'll go more details about it we'll talk about the hardware parts of the computer as i have told you a computer works with three things uh, sorry two things that is hardware and software a computer is made up of two things one is your hardware and another one is your software so what is your hardware part of the computer which you can touch physically which you can touch are known as your hardware like the part of the computer which you can touch are monitor keyboard mouse cpu ups okay these are the parts of the computer which you can directly touch with your hand all right so these parts of the computer are known as hardware parts of the computer now what is a software software are that parts of the computer which you cannot touch okay like the program inside the computer right the programs that you have inside the computer which help you to work in computer like ms paint ms word right ms excel ms powerpoint these are the programs which are inside the computer system which you can operate but you cannot touch directly you can touch those programs you can use those programs with the help of your mouse and your keyboard but with your hand you cannot touch them so these parts are known as your software software are the programs of the computer system in an easy language i'll explain you what is a hardware and what is a software like your physical part of your body all right just check yourself it can you touch your eyes can you touch your nose can you touch your tongue head hands legs so these parts which you can touch you can try yourself by touching this part these are called the hardware okay of your body which you can touch and what are the software parts of your body the parts of the body which you cannot touch but without which you cannot survive also that are heart can you touch your heart but you can feel the beats of your heart so heart is your software all right like you have lungs kidney veins inside your body you have blood inside your body which you cannot touch is it it but without which you cannot survive so these are called software all right same times if you bring the hardware home right you bring your system computer system monitor keyboard mouse cpu ups but if you do not feed program in your computer the computer is a useless machine the second example that i can give you about your hardware and the software is like the television that you have at home do you enjoy watching television obviously you love to watch television you love to watch cartoons in the television yes or no so can you touch the tv obviously you can touch your tv yes but can you touch the cartoons that comes inside the programs that comes inside the sorry inside the television screen no you cannot touch those cartoons that movie characters you cannot touch so that is your software suppose if you have a very big tv at home but you do not have a cable connection you do not have any program that you program is not coming in your television so your television is useful obviously not your television will be a simply a box yes or no so for to get entertainment to be uh, entertained you need some programs in it so that is the software part of your television all right same way as i have already explained you that the computer's part that you can directly touch with your hands are called as uh, sorry called a hardware part and the programs that is inside your system which you cannot touch but now which you cannot work the computer are called your software okay so this is your uh, review of the hardware and the software all right now 
These devices also display the result or give output in different forms. Based on the functions, hardware devices are divided into the following categories. Now again, these hardware devices are divided into different categories like input, processing, output and storage. Alright, now complete your system to divide it into two parts, that is hardware and software. Now again, we are talking about the hardware, I have explained about the hardware. Now hardware device is again divided into four parts, that is input, process, output and storage. Alright, now hardware can do input, storage, output, processing. So what it is? What is input device? Input as the name suggests. In. In means what? In means inside. In means inside. Whatever is inside is known as input. Alright. And device means machine. I always explain you. Device means machine. Alright? I'm always explaining you. Device means machine. So, input device. Inside, device means machine. The machine that helps you to work inside the computer system is known as your input device. The second is your processing device. What is processing? Processing means something happening, when work is happening. Like I'm teaching, I'm doing some work, I'm explaining you, I'm doing. Currently, I'm doing some work. When I'm doing some work, this is called processing. Processing, when work is happening. Kam hona, kam garni. When the work is happening, this is called processing. When some work happens. You are studying, you are listening, you are watching this video, you are doing some work. So this is called your processing because you are doing some work. When your mother is cooking inside the kitchen, she is doing some work. That is also processing. When your father is working in his office, he is doing some work. That is also processing. When you are with your book, textbook and with your exercise copies, you are writing. You are studying. This is when your work, when you are doing, your brain is doing some work. That is called your work. Your brain is processing. Work is happening. This is called processing. Output. As the name suggests, out. Again, outside. Input. It's just opposite of input. Input means inside and output means outside. Then something comes outside is known as your output. Device. Now, what is an output device? Output device is a device, it is a machine which gives you the result. Let's show you outside what is happening. Okay? What is happening? You can see outside that is your output device. And the last one, number four, is your storage. Storage means a place where you can store your things. Like in the cupboard, you put your clothes. Yes or no? In your school bag, you put, keep your books. So your bag, your cupboard is a storage place where you keep your things, a pencil box, a simple example, pencil box. You have a very pretty pencil box where you keep your pencil, eraser, ruler, whatever utensils or sorry, things that you need. You keep in the pencil box, pen, pencil, eraser, uh, sharpener. So that is a storage place. Okay. So these are the examples. So in our computer, what is an input device? Let's check out here. If you are with your book, please turn your book, page number 6 and we we'll discuss about input devices. Input devices. Okay, so let's see here. Hardware devices that are used to provide data and instructions to a computer are called input devices. Some of the common input devices are as follows. Mouse, keyboard, microphone. Okay? Mouse. A mouse is used to point, select or move objects on the screen. It is also used to create drawings and play games. It has two buttons and a scroll wheel. Mouse controls the position of a point.
pointer on the screen. The mouse pointer looks like a tiny slanting arrow. The pointer moves in the direction of the mouse. Therefore, it is also known as a pointing device. So, in computer, we have input devices like mouse, keyboard, and microphone. These are the devices, these are the machines which helps to put a data or instructions, a order, a word inside the computer system. Okay, like for example, mouse. Mouse is a machine. Thank you. 